up everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most important things you can do to have better sound design, better transitions, and just better edits in general. And it actually has nothing to do with the way that you edit. Before we get into that, I just wanted to say that I am about 15 or 14 subscribers away from hitting 500 subscribers. So if you just go down there, make sure you're subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, I wanted to talk to you guys about some ways that you can film with the edit in mind. The first one being writing a plan of what you're going to be shooting. And I don't mean writing a whole shot list or a script for your video. Legit, open a Google Doc and start writing down all your ideas. My suggestion is to take certain movements or actions or details from your location to capture. For example, in my steak video, there were two actions that I most wanted to capture. One was the steak being put down onto the grill and the ashes and the sparks being dumped onto the grill. So once you've got a general idea of what you're going to be shooting, you can start thinking of an emotion or a vibe that you want to convey. In my steak video, I wanted to convey a relaxed, calm, delicious vibe. I wanted you to smell the steak through the screen. I did my best to convey this by using sound design, music, and really slow motion and slow movement in general. Once you have this idea, you can start building on it until you have more ideas of what you're going to shoot. So now that you have the vibe that you want to convey, you can start building a story. And I don't mean like a full on like short film story with like a climax and everything. I'm not gonna write some character arc for somebody grilling steak. In the steak video, I just made sure to tell everything chronologically. He starts the grill, he puts the steak on on the grill, he takes the steak off the grill, he pours a drink, and we see the meal being served. If I were to tell that all out of order, nothing would really make much sense. It's a really, really simple story structure, but it goes a long way. So when you're making an edit, try to think about how you're going to progress the story forward. At this point, you have a clear direction of where you want your video to go, and now you just have to go out and shoot. The most important thing is to have as much coverage as possible. If you're with your camera and you're wondering if you should get a shot, Get the shot. And again, always remember the mood or vibe that you're trying to convey and always stay consistent to that style. My final tip is don't stick to the plan too much. Having some fun and exploration with the kind of shots that you get is essential to enjoying the experience and having your personality in that video. I'll see you guys next week.